New York. I love this town. I have my favorite Chinese restaurant, my favorite dry cleaner, and my favorite New York Post headline. Headless man found in topless bar. Pure poetry. And of course, I have my favorite watering hole, the Blue Shamrock. I swore if anyone changed one thing about it, they'd have to answer to me. Well, on a cruel twist of fate, that anyone turned out to be the woman I'm now showering with on a regular basis, Wally Porter. I hate to admit it, but she just may be able to turn the shamrock into an A-list joint. The woman is a real class act. You slimy little rodent, check the order. Lettuce, three dozen heads. I'm opening tomorrow night, Leo. I need arugula, radicchio, and bib. No iceberg, Leo, no iceberg, or I'll put your manhood in a garlic press. <laughs> All right, the stock is up. I'll fillet the salmon in a minute. I right, did you call the limo company? Yeah, they'll have a car out front tomorrow at 7. If you want to throw your money away, you can always throw it at me. <laughs> it's a trick of the trade, Ike. You park one limo outside, it emits some sort of scent, and before you know it, you're overrun with them. Now, we still have to unpack the new plates. The vases have to be put out. That table wobbles. The bar needs to be polished. We'd better hide before she paints us. <laughs> yeah, she's on a roll. She even wants me to throw out the cocktail napkins with the happy hour jokes on them. If you want to see a napkin, I'll show you a napkin. Watch carefully. Over, under, around, and through. Voila. Now you. Look at my shirt. Do I look like I fold things? Listen, mister, we are opening a very chic bistro in 24 hours, so I really don't have time for this. Boy, are we getting kooks today. Well, well if you're really Henry Kissinger, how tall is your wife? Oh, God. Henry? Hi, this is Wally. Well, I was thinking of a nice roast duck breast with a cranberry glaze. Oh, please, Henry. Einstein was a genius. All right, all right, I'm a genius. <laughs> Eight o'clock, party of two. See you tomorrow. Oh, my God, that was really Henry Kissinger. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have hung up on the man who said he was Stephen Sondheim. <laughs> Nadine, you're gonna have to get used to this. These are the kinds of people who are going to be coming in here. I have a very loyal clientele. I can't do this. It's too much responsibility. I hung up on the man who wrote Send in the Clowns. <laughs> and look who's supposed to show up. Woody Allen at table five. Mia Farrow at table 10. <laughs> oh, why don't I just put out my eyes with a shrimp fork? <laughs> Nadine, you can do it. You have come so far, so fast. Hang in there. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> You're not folding. It's over, guys. Vases folding, goat cheese. It's only a matter of time before we're standing outside behind a velvet rope, bribing Nadine with a Hummel figure to get a table. There's no point in fighting the inevitable, Mary Margaret. Blue Shamrock's changing. But it could be good. It'll bring the whole neighborhood up a notch. New people will invest in the area. Property values will go up. Or so will rents. Hell, the dry cleaner will get pushed out. Families will get evicted, they'll break up, turn to alcohol and drugs, wind up on the streets. By the way, what should I wear tomorrow? I don't know, Ray, something that won't clash with homeless people. I made a bunny. You won't believe what's going on outside. There's a guy in a corner from the parole petition committee. Nobody told him. Hi there, looking for anyone in particular? You know I am. God. You miss me? Maybe. Could you take it to another room, please? I have a low threshold for other people's pleasure. <laughs> Let's talk in the kitchen. I have a million things to do. There's something still not right about that stock. It needs more fennel and some shallots. Listen, Wally, I have something to tell you. Things have been so crazy for me today, and my nerves. It's not like I haven't run a restaurant before, but it's a comeback for me. So that makes it even bigger than the first time. So, guess who called me? What? I got an important call today. Guess who it was? Queen Elizabeth. Oh, come on. That woman wouldn't bother with me. She got a whole castle full of perverts over there. <laughs> Jack, I've kind of got my hands full. So unless I can win some luggage or a new car, you're going to have to tell me. All right, here goes. 
Jack Stein, brilliant but unknown national columnist, is going to be doing a piece for Newsweek. The 92 election, how it looks in the streets. Wow, that's fantastic. This is curdling. I've never curdled before. Maybe this isn't a good time. No, it is. It's a great time. Newsweek, national magazine. Very big opportunity. So that was the good news. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. Well, the bad news is they put the issue to bed tomorrow night at midnight, so... I won't be able to be here for your big opening night tomorrow. Oh. I'm really sorry. Hey, no. I understand. Lousy timing, huh? But perfectly okay. This sort of thing is bound to happen from time to time. We both have careers. And that's good. And that's great. We'll never be one of those pathetic couples joined at the hip. I'd hate that. Oh, me too. So this is working out well. Absolutely. I'll be so busy tomorrow night, I'd probably have to ignore you, which would make me feel guilty. And I'd be thinking about how I should be finishing my story, which would make me feel resentful. Guilty and resentful. Bad combo. Bad. Terrible. Well, okay then. Maybe I'd better get to work. I only have 24 hours to be brilliant. And I'm way behind on my pastries. So what about tonight? Hey, if there's one night I need my sleep... Oh, and I'll be writing. You know, this will be the first night we've been apart since we started, you know. Yeah, I know. So, bye. Oh. You know, I never knew a relationship could be this good. Write well. Thanks. And you sleep well. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> okay, so I lied. I didn't want to be one of those clingy types. Men only like that if your breasts are huge. <laughs> and he's got enough on his mind not to worry about me. God, this is embarrassing. I can't sleep without the man next to me. I miss that comforting smell of corned beef that lulls me into unconsciousness. <laughs> Maybe I'll just visit him for an hour. Then I'll be able to sleep. I could make it an interesting visit, too. If I show up wearing nothing but a raincoat and a pair of heels, he won't mind the interruption. Yeah, this could be good. Take a walk on the wild side. Do the interesting thing. <laughs> Who am I, Marla Maples? <laughs> this proves my mother's theory. Too much sex destroys the brain cells. <laughs> if I disturb him, he misses his deadline, and it's all my fault. I wonder if I could get corned beef delivered this late. <laughs> didn't expect to see you, did you, Nick? I have another surprise. All I have on is this little raincoat. Why doesn't anything like this ever happen to me? Well, as you can see, I've accomplished a lot tonight. I've discovered that if you dip the Cheeto into the peanut butter at a certain angle, it won't break off. Of course, you have to use the creamy. <laughs> so you see how Wally took the news that I couldn't be at her opening? She was fine. Independent and strong is good, but a little crying would have been nice. <laughs> I assume she needed me. Isn't that part of a relationship? <laughs> they obviously need each other. <sighs> I don't know, what's her problem anyway? I mean, I need her. She's sleeping like a baby, and I'm up all night thinking about why she doesn't care about me. What's next? I'll start walking by her place, checking to see if the lights are on. Afraid to see the silhouette of another man. The sound of distant moaning. Wow, where the hell did that come from? I better get back to work. Oh, like anyone really cares who's president. I imagine. I don't know. People. 
I know, it's a long cab ride and it's raining. It's not dangerous down here, Henry. And if you want to talk about dangerous, you served under Richard Nixon, for God's sakes. Oh, spare me the genius speech, Tubby. I have an announcement, everyone. Tubby Kissinger will not be here. Cross him off the list. I thought that limo out front was supposed to attract people. At this point, I'll be happy if it just distracts people from the lady on the corner who talks to gnomes. She's trying to dance with the limo driver. I don't know what everybody's complaining about. I think it's going pretty good. Ike, we're empty. Yeah, but I thought we'd be overrun with those uptown types. You know, guys in ponytails sending drinks to girls in crew cuts. What the hell is that all about? Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Have you had a chance to look over the menu? Yeah. We don't get it. Well, these are appetizers. Braised bay scallops with a lemon confit. Subtle but delicious. This is herb chev on a bed of endive with watercress. What happened to the Rice Krispie squares that Ike used to make? Told you. Oh, someone's coming, someone's coming. <laughs> is it Gore Vidal? We'll see. The cab is stopping in front. A man is leaning out the window. Two ladies in hot pants are getting in and... <laughs> oh, maybe he'll be hungry after. <laughs> Boy, this is really dismal. I almost feel sorry for her. Hey, Wally. I'm sure Jack wishes he could be here. Oh, good, Ray. Bring up a sensitive issue. While you're at it, why don't you remind her how many childbearing years she has left? <laughs> oh, my God. My God, somebody is actually coming in. All right. Stay calm, everyone. Ike, be nice. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the Blue Shamrock. Thank you. One for dinner? Uh, well, uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, perhaps I'll sit at the bar and just, uh, peruse the menu. Of course. <clears throat> Anything I can get you? Oh, uh, well, let's see. Uh, perhaps a, a glass of wine while I look. Excellent. <clears throat> I this gentleman would like a glass of wine. I will help you in the nicest possible way. What can I get for you, sir? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, a Cabernet, please. Full-bodied, uh, but not too, uh, not too tannic. Uh, something with the uh, depth of the Sterling 74s and the grip of uh, the Jordan 83s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Smell the cork, please. Here. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Well, I guess it was too much to expect. A decent place in this neighborhood here. Oh, please, don't go. It's just his sense of humor. The man's a pixie. What the hell were you doing, Ike? I have cases of fine wines here. I didn't like it. I had a premonition. I pictured him coming in here with his friends ordering all kinds of things. Night after night after night. That's the idea. Geez, I'm not getting this at all. I work so hard. Why didn't anyone show up? Probably because I'm located between a bail bondsman and a credit dentist. God, I wish Jack were here. 
I hate to say it. I mean, I almost never say it. But I need a hug. And someone to eat 20 pounds of salmon. <laughs> I am not going to cry. I am Wally Porter. I can debone a chicken in 20 seconds, damn it. For the license, everyone, it's opening night. <laughs> Where is everybody? They're all in the bathroom, Kip. They'll be right out. A little slow, huh? You could say that. Well, look, you got a paying customer right here. A table for one, please. You don't have to do this, Kip. I want to. It's been a long time since I've had some of Wally Porter's great cooking. And don't worry, my money's good. I know. I mailed your alimony check yesterday. <laughs> What's that? Your eye is going. Whenever you get upset, you get that little twitch. I don't. Yes, you do. You remember the day we got married? You caught my father putting some of the wedding gifts into his car? <laughs> the first time I saw that twitch. That's not true. Boy, you haven't changed at all, have you? You always act as if you, you're so tough. Maybe I am tough. Uh... OK, you don't need anybody. So where's what's his name? Jack. He couldn't make it. He couldn't make it? Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. It's your big night, and he couldn't make it. Oh, whoa. Kip, forget it. I think somebody needs a hug. I don't need a hug. You're getting a hug. I'm warning you. I'm hugging. No! Here comes your hug. Yes, I... 12.30. Time to go. Why not? The crush of people seems to have ended. You two go. I'll lock up. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, then. Don't play with the napkins. They took me all day. Are you sure you wouldn't like me to make you a little hot cocoa? It worked for my daughter after she was returned from the kidnapping. <laughs> That's a whole other story. <laughs> Don't worry about me, Nadine. I'll just go home, make myself a dress out of the drapes. After all, tomorrow is another day. Okay. Ike, would you walk me to my car, please? God, my neck is so tight. Oh, that problem neck of yours. Let me take a look. No, that, that's okay, Would you Kip? please stop? Oh, boy. You still have that one knot like a walnut just below your left shoulder blade. My life is hell knot. Oh, that's it. There's always bumps in the road. It's how you deal with them. Remember that review they gave me when I was doing Richard II? They called me a nightmare in tights. <laughs> but I saw the upside. Everybody was talking about me the next day. Hi, remember me? They obviously don't. I'm gone one day and... Oh. Oh, this is a real confidence builder. You remember all my little spots. Am I wrong or is this infuriating? <laughs> so, Kip. Jack. Wally. Jack. Well, I see we won't need name tags here. Not in my shoulder. I got it out. Thank God. <laughs> I feel a little tension here. Why? Because you had your hands all over my... What should I call you? <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. But I want you to know, Jack... Well, I think Shakespeare said it best. <laughs> if we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended that you have but slumbered here whilst these visions did appear. Give me your hands, if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends. Ah, the language. That's why I became an actor. By the way, I'm on sweating bullets tonight. I play an insane crossing guard. Jack, it might have looked like something, but it wasn't. Hey, you think I was jealous? Of what? 
I think you have a little drool there on your shoulder. Jack. So, not that I need to ask, but uh, how'd things go tonight? Fine. A little slow, but I expected that. Did Kissinger show? No. Something about world peace. You know how it is. How did your article turn out? Well, it didn't flow out of me like I'd hoped, but uh, it's good. And I made the deadline just in the nick of time. Of course, more people will come when word gets out. Word of mouth is everything. Boy, it looks like you really cooked your heart out. Yes. And maybe next time, people will even eat it. <laughs> it was a disaster. Everyone canceled. Everyone. It's like I opened a restaurant in Beirut. <laughs> Look at all the fabulous things that went to waste. Here, taste. Oh, Wally. Taste it. Fresh poached salmon finished in a white wine tarragon sauce. You were supposed to be here, damn it. It was one of the worst nights of my whole life, and you should have been here to at least share it with me. Just said you didn't need me. Wow, this is really good. I know what I said. I was confused. I can't think straight when I'm around you. You can't think straight. This is no piece of cake for me either, you know. Look, I used to write for 48 hours straight. Brilliance came out. Gold. I don't see you for a day. You know what I'm reduced to? Sitting in chock full of nuts, trying to write the piece of a lifetime on napkins while a naked man with a banjo played Oh Susanna. Well, that's it. Less than a month into this relationship and already the worst has happened. Don't say it. We have to confront it, Jack. Please. We need each other. Oh, God. <laughs> it's horrible. What the hell can we do? I don't know. I have no idea what I want from you. On one hand, I'm thrilled you like the food. On the other hand, I know you have no taste. Well, we have to do something, or it's only a matter of time before we... Start finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> No. Okay, okay, let's not panic. That's not gonna help. There's gotta be some way around us. Forget it, Jack. I hate to be the voice of doom, but I think we've got it. And we've got it bad. I think you're right. So now what do we do? Well, we could have sex. Is that your answer to everything? Well, not for like the deficit. But for something like this, I don't think I'm out of line. Oh, I don't know if I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood. Excuse me. Excuse me! You gonna need the limo anymore? The limo? What limo? It's a long story. No, no, no. No, wait, wait. wait. You know, there's a full moon. The rain stop, there's a nice breeze. I think this is a perfect night for a drive. My man, once around the park. Oh, boy. Everybody's got to do it in a limo. Try the pate. Incredible. Hey, let's turn on the TV. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't that Kip? I had to kill him. He crossed against the red. I had to kill him. Oh, God, let's see what else is on. No, I want to watch this. I don't. No, I want to see this. I cooked dinner for you. I don't I can watch what I want to watch. Oh, maybe he gets the chair.